you know, a portrait that hangs on a, on a wall, but a locket, a portrait locket with such miniatures as the man and woman here mm. can be worn. You're close to the heart. We think of Scotland as being grey and, and dismal, but Scotland very much engages in the European Renaissance. The Stuart dynasty that, that are ruling Scotland this time have aspirations to be European monarchs. They're very much connected to continental Europe. They don't look to the English court south of the border. They look to Europe. For Mary, jewellery is more than about status and rewarding loyalty. As a devout Catholic, it helps her express her faith. This pomander is more personal than any portrait. Mary may have used it as her rosary to count prayers during mass. The rosary beads are a very personal object. Each individual bead is handmade. You can see that lovingly, tentatively by a goldsmith. All the filigree has actually become quite smooth. Yes. And you can see that must have been the, the constant prayer and holding. This object has a sense that it's been used and valued and appreciated. It's not just a work of art, which it is. It's been loved. It's been loved. Her jewelry collection was very close to her heart, and I'm sure it comforted her many times in need. It's very, very much so, Sean. Mm. And, and Mary was very much influenced by charms and amulets. And of course, this doesn't go down well in Protestant Scotland with fiery preachers like John Knox, yeah. that connection to the old, the old religion, to, to superstition. It's 